Thank you for watching Ebony Ladies in the DR. I'm your host, Bridget. Gracias por ver las damas de Ibanas en el Dorare. Yo soy Turu Afetiona, Bridget. So a lot of people have been saying um, that I entertain a lot and food is really expensive. Are you doing potlucks or how are you affording to feed all these people and just on and on and on, all kinds of questions. So I thought I would do a little episode about um, shopping. We've done grocery shopping episodes before, but this time is going to be a little bit more specific because yes, I do like to entertain and no, my guests don't always um, bring something. We don't always have potluck. Sometimes Davlin and I just want to cook and have people over and let them eat. So yes, that can add up if you don't know how to spend your money. So I know I'm in the expat groups and I see a lot of people talking about, you know, this is expensive or where can you get the fresh fish of the day and who has the best beef and you know that kind of, that type of thing so I'm gonna start out with seafood um, seafood most of my seafood I'll buy fresh at Jumbo everything that you buy fresh is gonna be a lot cheaper if it doesn't look like it's fresh for you um, that look like it's the catch of the day then what you should do is go to Bibiagua Bibiagua. Bibiagua is to the right of Jellyfish. Um, I usually go, the guys have been there throughout the day lately, these um, these past few weeks. They have been there like around 10.30 in the morning after I do my walks. I might be go, go back over there on my bike, like 10.30 the morning catch. And I've noticed they'll have a lot more red snapper, um, uh, some other kind of a smaller fish, um, but is really, really good. And they sell it really cheap cheap when I say really cheap I'm talking 150 to 300 pesos for two or three of them and they're really good I usually can eat one and Davlin will usually eat two of them um, if you go there and then if you go to jellyfish uh, right in front of well right to the left of jellyfish right uh, the restaurant they're right there there you'll see the scale hanging from the tree they'll have their catch of the day they have red snapper they have the, the white fish so they'll have a lot of different fish so if your concern is you want something that's super fresh well this is right out the ocean that day prices are gonna vary sometimes the scale man is like tripping in my opinion um, like is so high but then it, he you know you like everything else everything is negotiable just let him know your price and go with your cooler or, um, and also a little bit of ice unless you're like me and live right in Kokota I usually just take a bag um, a little bit of ice from the freezer just to put on it and run home and usually we're gonna cook it that day so whenever we buy stuff off the beach we never refreeze we never freeze it it's always that's what we're having and so I bring it home wash it um, a lot of times I will have them fillet it for me right there on the beach because I can't do the small bones um, and I can't do the head so they will do all of that for you and no one's ever charged me anything extra sometimes I'll give a little bit of a tip sometimes excuse me sometimes it'll just be what the price is and another place to find the fresh fish okay outside of Kokota the man used to come on Wednesdays now I'm noticing him more on Thursdays so you can't miss him he's on a moto huge white ice cooler ice chest on the back of the moto that is the seafood man <laughs> riding around there's tons of them this man is really smart he'll come by Kokota usually between I say 5 and 7 p.m. he'll have balls this size of crab meat um, it, the crab meat is so good so fresh and it's usually about this big and Davlin makes crab cakes we usually spend about I think the bag is usually like eleven dollars US or five to six hundred pesos uh, five hundred to six hundred pesos and Davlin will literally get us about fifteen to twenty good sized crab cakes out of that ball of crab meat um, he'll have lobsters he'll have red snappers he'll have like a cat uh, all 
kinds of different kinds of fish in the cooler and so whenever you see the cooler man driving around guys don't hesitate pull over stop them get you some fish take it back home let that be fish for the fish for dinner that day but you can um, entertain and give your guests really nice food and without blowing your budget because y'all know me I'm very budget friendly but I like to entertain and I'm gonna serve good food so that's the fish now beef um, again with the beef and with chicken I I'll do the cash and carry um, in Barone not far right the next street over from Olay and sometimes I'll do jumbo and what I found I, I really like my fresh pork my bacon is super polo and it's really inexpensive and when i say inexpensive it's like a less than 200 pesos per pound and everywhere else have been like 230 240 um, pesos per pound so good deals so don't forget super polo but don't forget cash and carry and jumbo for your fresh meat you know and so now devil and i we never really buy anything frozen because everything is a lot cheaper if you buy it fresh um and then like my chicken stuff like that i will bring it home wash it and freeze it and use it later the fish i don't refreeze i cook it the same day um now for people that like to entertain like myself and you gotta have your charcuterie my sister is the charcuterie champion master expert uh expert of the world in my opinion so now i've started doing the charcuterie um charcuterie boards and let me tell you where i got my um charcuterie board all of my items that were fresh and really really good and y'all not gonna believe it but iberia and for use and not to say anything bad about iberia Area. It's not my favorite grocery store. I think because it's um, so compact and it just doesn't feel sometimes as clean as some of the other grocery stores. And I really think it's just because it's small. Because whenever I've gone in there, it, the the floors, everything are cl everything is clean. Um, I think it's just you know, it's tight you know but when i went these last few times because i am hooked on the pastrami cubes they do they have some of the best pastrami and fresh and good and they do great size cubes and so i'll get those with my cheddar cheese with my gouda my smoked gouda my mozzarella and then i'll pick another like a ham or a pepperoni for my charcuterie board but the pastrami there is the absolute best has great prices i did a charcuterie board um for 15 people um, my last uh, party that we had at the house 15 people we had the pastrami i had turkey i had ham i had pepperoni and then all of the different kind of cheeses that we all like then I cut up pineapples and we had some olives and I found these crackers um, at Iberia they're like a garlic basil um, it's a Dominican brand don't ask me the name but if you go on the cracker shelf you will be able to find it it's a green and white box super cheap everybody's still asking me now where did you get the crackers Bridget again tell me what kind of crackers were those so those are just some of the little tips so you got Iberia for your pastrami and your charcuterie board and your cubed um, cheese which all the grocery stores do it but I'm using Iberia um, I, I have chosen Iberia as my favorite because the pastrami was so delicious and I have never really been a big pastrami girl this pastrami was delicious and so now I'm kind of hooked on it with my pastrami and crackers and cheese for my healthy snacks um, so that's what you want to do so your fish your beef beef we eat a lot of ground beef but I usually buy my ground beef at Jumbo or I'll do the cash and carry um, on the side of Olay like I said so check out those prices there is a lot of ways to save money on your groceries and still entertain and eat really good food and the fish man who does um, who comes in front of Cocotel he usually have live lobster huge lobster still clawing in the thing so you know you can get your lobster there his prices are not unreasonable every time is usually really good prices I don't eat a whole lot of lobster and I don't eat a lot of shrimp um, but I like fish I eat a lot of red snapper I eat a lot of white fish so those
those are the ones that I really like and whatever the little small fish is that they catch at Bibiagua but you know so people were just saying that they noticed how much I entertain so I'm not breaking the bank over here entertaining but I have you know guys it's been three years that we've been in Punta Cana and I'm learning all the tricks on how to work um, and still take off when I want to so that I can enjoy my island life and not be stressed and, and not have so many bills. So I am learning all of the ways that Dominicans survive and how they are able to eat really good and enjoy this life because that's what I want to do. That was my purpose of moving to relieve some of the stress. So no, I did not come over here to stress myself out and spend a whole lot of money on food so that I can entertain and have to work. 10 12 hours a day it ain't happening y'all know me I ain't about that life so I just wanted to share those things with you because I see it in the expat groups all the time picking people talking about the seafood and the beef and the chicken and the prices so these are some of the things that you can add to your list on how to save a little bit of money with your main dishes um, and eat good you know me y'all see me I have to work out all the time because I eat really good I don't skimp on food by any means so any questions or comments put them down here um, but those are things that I just want to share every Thursday Ebony ladies in the DR right here on YouTube 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and if you have questions or of a topic or anything that you would like for me to share or find out more information on send it to me just don't make it something that in Sasua in Samana in Cabarete places that I have no idea about because you guys are getting uh, way outside of my scope uh, Punta Cana um, I know a little bit about Igwe because I do a lot of shopping in Igwe but my main area is here in Punta Cana where I live so anything that I can do to help you here I am uh, more than happy to assist until next Thursday take care enjoy the sunshine see you soon